I always was trying to make the product in a way uh, that it is easy to understand. That with the help of design, uh, you uh, gear up the product. Yeah? Less but better. That is, should be the objective, the main objective for the future. And uh, my feeling is that, uh, especially through this exhibition, that uh, young people, they, they feel that. That they have to change something, basically, as designer or architects. My first question, um, by, by reminding everyone of the great tribute that Jonathan Ive gave to you in his design of the iconic Apple products. Um, this uh, has very much uh, apparent in the recent exhibition of Dieter Rams's work that showed Dieter Rams's products next to those designed by Jonathan Ive. But you said something very interesting. You said Apple has achieved something I never did. That's right. Can you explain that? I was nearby. But uh, I was the only one in the 60s, in the 50s, who, as a designer, reporting directly to the top of the, uh, uh, to the entrepreneur at this time, it was the Brothers Brown. And uh, later I had the chance as Gillette Byte, the company Brown, always to reporting directly to the uh, chairman of the board. And that was not normal at this time. And uh, now I'm really uh, very surprised that uh, Jonathan Ives is not only, uh, but the connect, what, what, I, what, is, what I think it's so necessary to, uh, to have this close connection to the entrepreneur as a designer, as uh, Jonathan Ives has it now with Apple. And now, after the, uh, he died, uh, Steve the, Jobs, Steve yeah. Jobs uh, uh, he died uh, shortly. I, I, I thought I could have met him. Uh, I was in San, Fris San Francisco at this time. I had this exhibition there, and uh, I was was invited to uh, come into the design department, uh, but Steve Jobs was already ill, and uh, I came back, as I was back to him in Germany, uh, he died. So I didn't only, uh, had, I was the only designer, I believe, they let me in in the design department. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's very nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, uh, yes, I, met all the people there and all the equipments, I was feeling really at home. Yeah. I never used this term, form follows function. Also, as I start with my work with Brown in the, in the uh, beginning of the 60s, and I was saying to the journalist uh, uh, at this time, you can count these companies in the world which takes design really seriously on your ten fingers. Today, I have to say the same thing. You can count it on your ten fingers and you have one company. And that's Apple with Steve Jobs, uh, who is the man behind it. But uh, we need more. <laughs> We need more, and we need more uh, clearness, not only uh, with products, also with our cities, and everything is too chaotic. Now, ideas, what, what is the company doing? It was known at this time as Radio Braun, local known. It was very interesting to uh, hear from Erwin Braun his ideas of a new company 
which is interested in the healthy of their employments, which is interested in new design ways. And it was fascinating for me to change from a free architect or whatever I had in mind to go to the industry. <laughs> so that was the starting point. As I started my work with Braun, uh, first as an architect, yeah. then it was clear that architecture, since we had one, I must say, we had one example at this time that was Olivetti. Olivetti was doing one thing which was unique at this time, uh, to combinate architectural thing, graphic design, and industrial design together. And the problem was with the help of the Ulm School at this time, trying to find a new way to do similar things. And we started with architectural things, and then it was going very fast. Yeah? Uh, in the beginning of the 50s, uh, 56, I get the first uh, 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 things uh, in, in the field of industrial design was well. together with Hans Griffelow from the Ulm School uh, uh, with the first product design I did with this so-called Snow White Coffin. Mm -hmm. it, it was the first radio with this uh, uh, cover on, with plexiglass yeah, on, it, on top of it. And um, <coughs> It, it also a lot of stories. So uh, then it was starting with industrial design. Mm -hmm. Why uh, the brothers Brown was not able to uh, work only with the Ulm School because uh, it was necessary to the first radios. They gave the people the ex that, 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 that is looking very good, but inside it's not so good. Mm -hmm. So we have to improve the technology because the outside from the design was uh, uh, more technical as the inside. <laughs> and uh, the process Brown was very fast thinking, okay, we need in-house a stronger combination between engineering and designer. And I get the first, I was uh, at this time alone, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it was necessary to work closer together so with the engineers to improve the technology. Sometimes it's more important to have a yellow push button which tells you something. So the yellow color makes a whole thing more colorful as to make the whole thing more colorful. Uh, but I had some products where I was willing to accept colors. I like, in some cases, that uh, it has to fit to the product. A kitchen machine, which you use every day in your kitchen, cannot stay in a color, in a, in a stark color. The push buttons on it, yes, but not the whole thing. It's too dominating, the kitchen. And design should not dominate things, and not dominate people. It should help people. That's the sport. Yeah, uh, uh, this was an uh, interesting product, in the, designed in the uh, in 58, 59. Uh, the software, nobody knows the name software at this time, in 59. The software with this uh, small records, which you could put on like that, and you could walk with that. Yeah. And with the air phone, uh, you, it was like uh, the later Walkman. Yeah. Fantastic. But the software with these records, the life of this software was very short. <laughs> <laughs> but it is uh, a system also, because it is you have the radio, 
separate, there's a normal radio. And with the, with the record player, 